Brandon, this is kind of week one of the playoffs for you guys. How do you look at it? Oh, yeah. Uh, we're just taking it one day, one practice at a time, trying to make sure that we focus on this week and now look forward to next week. Because teams often around this time in the meat of their schedule, they look ahead to the, to the upcoming weeks. But we can't afford to do that, so we're just taking it one day at a time. If you treat it like a playoff thing, it's a, it's a kind of a one and done because you do control your own destiny as long as you keep winning. Is can you take that approach? Most definitely, uh, because it's that's really true. Uh, it's one and done right now. We can't afford to lose. We don't want to lose, uh, and that's the way we look at it. So we go into every game as if this is our last chance, and. And me and my and, and my and, uh, and other underclassmen, we don't want to send those seniors out like that. We want to make sure they have more than five guaranteed games left in their season. Coach was talking about the fact that that doesn't get any better than this. You're going to face the top teams in the conference and play five games and see where you are at the end. Does it get any better than that? It it definitely doesn't. If you're a true competitor, a true football player, it doesn't get any better than that. You want to play the best of the best week in, week out, and that's what we're getting ready to do in the next five weeks. So you just have to love it as a football player. Brandon, can you sense that this team is rejuvenated a little bit with the bye week? Um, obviously the biggest game of the season is the next one, but it just happens to be against one of the top teams. Yeah. Um, yesterday at practice, people felt more fresh, had the legs under them. So that bye week definitely did us – a lot of good. How do you guard against it? knowing what's at stake over the next five weeks? How do you guard against being too tight, too amped up, uh, too nervous, so that you know, realize what is at stake? We just look at it as a normal game. Like you can't make it bigger than what it really is, because at the end of the day, it's not the playoffs. It's, it's really not the playoffs. You want to go into it like it's one and done, but at the same time, you have to know it's. It's another game, so we go in, we watch film the same, we practice the same, we try to keep everything as normal as possible, so we're calm, cool, collective come Saturday. Brandon, Coach talked about the stuff, hey, you guys in the box, this team will pass and beat. Are you guys doing anything to match coverages this week? Nothing really has changed. Uh, we know as corners that the deep ball can come any time with this team with a heavy run game and a good running game like they have. So we just stand on top, doing our job. We let the linebackers and safeties D-line handle the run. What challenges does Southern Illinois present? And how good is this football team you're going to face Saturday? They're a very good team. Well coached. They don't beat themselves. They rarely turn the ball over. They're a very good team. They can run the ball, which that's a, a lot of big plays in the passing game. So they're a very good team. We just have to come out and play our best football. Brandon, on paper, I mean, they're playing at home. They're ahead of you in the conference. So obviously a lot of people are looking at them to, to defeat. Do you guys relish that, that quote-unquote underdog role? Oh, yeah. Uh, that and also that the fact they, they beat us at home last year very bad. They beat us 33 to zip, I believe. That's, that's embarrassing. And we want to redeem ourselves. Because it's a whole new team, but at the same time, most of that team was here last year and played in that game. So we want to redeem ourselves and, and show people what Youngstown State football is. They got a quarterback who can throw the ball pretty well, a running back obviously who runs very well. I mean, are, are those the two guys you need to stop, or, or who else have you seen on the limited tape that you've been able to watch? Uh, first off, got to stop the run. He's a he's a great running back. Uh, the quarterback, he can make any throw on the field. And he has a core of receivers that are are top of the league for cross. So we have we have a lot to stop. But I believe that as we prepare in this week, that we can do it. How much pressure is there? I would say none. We we don't look at it as pressure. We just playing football. We want to win, we're going to play football, go out there and compete for 60 minutes.